I am here off the coast of Panama where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? Ah, <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. Oh, no, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't have... you got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... Could you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay, what's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just you point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. Whole ship's gonna blow. We gotta jump. Oh, wait. What are you doing? Okay. Come on. Go. All right. <laughs> I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? Ah, I had everything under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you all right? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elaine Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Huh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. What do you say we get out of here before we attract any more attention? Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Oh, oh, so you found the coffin. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Oh, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. 
This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. Good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Son of a bitch. Hey! <sighs> Should have seen that one coming. Ugh. What a warm and homey place, huh? <laughs> well, not quite what you were expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. What the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and, well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. Oh, man. The temple must have been built around this. Around what? A statue. A gold statue. A huge gold statue. And look here, these people, they're worshipping the damn thing. At least, I think they're people. Of course. El Dorado, the Golden Man. Sully, it wasn't a city of gold. It was this. It was a golden idol. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Look over here, tracks. I bet the Spanish dragged it out on cut logs. We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Unless... Unless what? We follow the tracks. Whoa. I'll be damned. Must have come up the river during flood season and gotten stuck. Let's check it out, huh? No, uh, wait, wait, wait. Something about this feels kind of hinky. Hinky? You act like you've never seen a German U-boat in the middle of the jungle before. Uh, I'm being serious, Nate. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you stay here? I'll check it out myself. I'll call you if I run into any Nazis. Yeah, right. You do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on to this for me, will ya? Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Okay, I'm in. What do you see? Something nasty happened to these guys. There's blood everywhere. And soup. What?
Ugh. Huh. Now where'd you get this, my decomposing friend? I think the trail just got warm again. How so? Well, I just met a guy with pockets full of Spanish gold. Only the coins are stamped with a mint mark I've never seen before. You're kidding me. Looks like our German friends had a little secret. Cozy. I'm in the captain's quarters. Get this, he's still here. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, it looks like he was killed. Ripped to shreds, actually. Oof, what a way to go. Yeah, sounds terrible. Check his wallet. You're all hearts, Sully. Gotcha. Are you all right? <laughs> Sully, you're not gonna believe this. Try me. I think I found our missing page. You're kidding. It looks like Drake and our German pals were after the same treasure. And I've got the map that's gonna lead us right to it. Nate, this better not be another wild goose chase. We've gotta get something out of this trip or... Or what? Sully? Are you there? Sullivan? Friends of yours, Sully? I'm Gabriel Roman. Yeah, I know who you are, asshole. Manners, young man. This is just business. Get over there. Uh, easy. Put your hands up. Hi, right, they're up. See, your friend owes me money, Mr. Drake. A lot of money. So when he told me that you two were onto something big, the find of a lifetime, he said, well, I was intrigued. But he's made grand promises before, haven't you, Victor? And here we are again. Another fool's errand. Jeez, does he always go on like this? <laughs> Take it easy, Navarro. <laughs> so, I'm afraid the time is up. Unless, of course, you found something in there, Mr. Drake, that might compensate for all this unpleasantness. He's screwing with you, Nate. They heard everything. Just give him the man. Slowly. 
What does a Krieg's marine map have to do with El Dorado? What, you think this is a coincidence? The Germans were after the same treasure. That map has something to do with it. So, we square? For now. But just in case you need a reminder... Hey, come Ooh. on, leave him out of it. Yeah, don't you guys usually just cut off a finger or something? That's far too vulgar. No, I think this will hurt him a bit more. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Roman. He's got nothing to do with Sully! Sully! You son of a bitch! Cowboy. Oh, that's for leaving me at the dock. What the hell are you doing here? Listen, I'm a good enough reporter to follow a couple of no luck tomb robbers. Shh. It went this way. I made your head. Well, you're down to one tomb robber now. Sully's dead. What? Yeah. And we're next if we don't get out of here. Oh, God. I'm, I'm sorry. Please tell me you have a gun. Of course. Oh, thanks. All right, come on. You always been this popular? Well, I do seem to attract the scum of the earth. Uh, you know, no offense. None taken. Do you have a good memory? Yeah, why? UK 2642. You got that? Yeah, what is it? It's Creek's Marine coordinates. I think I know where the Spanish took El Dorado. El Dorado? The problem is, so that the bastards killed Sully. Damn it! If the Spanish found the treasure, they had to move it there, to that island. And Drake followed him. Well, what are we waiting for? I'll get the story, and you get whatever it is you're after. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hey, this isn't going to be a vacation, you know. I can take care of myself. Besides, you owe me one. I suppose I do. We're on the trail of the lost treasure of El Dorado, and it's brought us here to this tiny island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Let's get a closer look. I hope we're the first ones here. Will we discover the ruins of a forgotten colony and a fortune in Spanish gold? Or does the island have darker secrets in store for us? That should keep him from changing the channel. What the hell was that? Anti-aircraft fire? This is so not cool! Oh crap! We're on fire! Enough with the damn camera! We gotta bail out! Bail out? Does this thing even have parachutes? Now would be a good time to look! Uh, I hope these things still work! We'll find out in a second! Have you ever done this before? Of course! You just jump, count to five, and pull the cord! Now go! Are you coming? Kinda of busy right now! Get going! See you on the ground? Right behind you! What am I doing? Okay, it just jumped. Count to five. Just pull the cord. How hard could that be?
Pintu! Siapa ini? Bicara sekarang! Ah, Cepatan! Buka pintu! Ah, tai. <laughs> it worked! There he is! Up there! Get on the gun! Oh boy. Hmm. These aren't Spanish. They're English. Whoa. Fletcher, we have gone to the Great Tower. I pray that you will meet us there. Francis Drake. Wow. So you made it. But what were you plotting? This must have been Drake's. So what were you looking for, huh? Well now, that looks familiar. Huh. The ship's never left. Elena! Hey, there she is. Watch this! Oh, oh crap, no! I know I'm not a big-time treasure hunter like you, but I doubt you're gonna find El Dorado in there. How'd you get yourself in this mess? Trying to rescue you, as a matter of fact. Oh, that's so sweet. Traditional sandstone, brick, and stucco. Limestone mortar, huh? How'd you get to know so much about this? My show, episode four, Architects of a New World. Yep, it'll just take a tug to pull these bars out. What? No, wait! Are you sure? Get out of my way, puto! Sebastian, open this goddamn door! Oh, crap. Hey, Drake. Daddy Raja. <laughs> I should have guessed. Fascinating document, huh? Seems like this Sir Francis was in my line of work. Don't flatter yourself, Eddie. <laughs> Always ready to be enemies, eh? <laughs> Tell you what. Lead me to the gold. And I just might let you live. <laughs> Is that it? Is that my deal? Die now, or help you, and die later. Oh, it's a tough call, but you know what? I'll take die now. Die, Camo! Listen to me, maggot. I was promised treasure on this goddamn rock. And now, my men are dying. They can't even go outside to take a piss without an armed guard! And I have nothing to show for it! I am making you a fair offer. You help me find the treasure, and the last man alive gets the gold! And the girl, of course. The girl? Oh, Eddie, the girl's long gone. She's probably off the island by now. Going for help. Dai Kuching, you were never very good at poker. I will find her. Trust me. How much trouble could one girl be? Well, come on! Thank you. Hey! Ah, damn it! Okay. Nice work. Thanks. Uh, hey! Hey, Buka Pitu! Hang on!
goes with the territory. Let's get the hell out of here. Damn it. Come on. <laughs> Going somewhere? Hey, Eddie. Did you really think you could escape from what? Oh, no. I just giving the young lady the $10 tour. Shut <laughs> it. I bet you're working for them, too. What? You thought you could set me up and keep everything for yourselves, hmm? Get back! Damn it! This guy's crazy! Eddie, <laughs> take it easy, buddy. Well, you're out of luck now! And out of road. Now. Give me that map. Hold on. All right, you got me. Fair and square. Hey, don't move. Relax, Eddie. Just get in the map like you asked. I said, hold on. I am. Well, hand it over. Well, now, you told me not to move. Looks like you're gonna have to come get it. Uh, die, come on. <laughs> this was a big mistake. <laughs> no kidding. You know, I should have turned before the bridge. That's very funny. Oh, come here a minute. I want to show you something. That thing still works? Uh-huh. Check this out. Okay, see this building in the harbor? That's where all the boats coming into the colony would have unloaded their cargo. So if the El Dorado treasure came to this island, it would have had to have come through here. Wait a minute, what, what was that? What? Rewind it. Yeah? Wait, stop. Uh-huh. Right there. That's our ticket out of here. Come on. Our ticket out of here? Are you giving up? Maybe you hadn't noticed, but we're kind of outnumbered. We're doing fine so far. Oh, Elena, I don't need your bullet-riddled corpse on my conscience. Let's go. Oh, please. You quit if you want to, but don't use me as an excuse. <laughs> fine. It's me, okay? I am quitting. Are you coming or not? So that's it. You're just gonna forget about the treasure and forget about Drake? God damn it, this is not worth dying over. Okay. Okay. Listen, either way, we have to head back to the harbor. Don't worry about it. We can argue about it later. It'll be great. Wait. This time, I drive. Okay. These must be all the old ship manifests. Oh. Still seem to be in good shape. <sighs> hey, check this out. This looks right. The Esperanza sailed from Cayo, Peru, carrying 800 bars of gold, 1,200 silver emeralds, golden masks, ornaments. Whoa, reading 16th century Spanish? Not just a grave robber after all, huh? Right here. Gold statue. Weight, 20 arrobas. That's over 500 pounds. That's gotta be it. Wow. There you are. That thing kinda gives me the creeps. Huh. That's the last entry. That somebody special? What? Oh. Uh, yeah. I guess you could say that. Huh. I had you pegged as more of a woman in every port kind of guy. <laughs> Don't I wish. No, this was, uh, this was Francis Drake's ring. I, you know, kind of inherited it. Sick Parvis Magna? Greatness from small beginnings. It was his motto. Check out the date. 29th of January, 1596. One day after he supposedly died. Wait, what are these numbers right here? Coordinates. 
right off the coast of Panama. Oh, so that's how you found the coffin. Yeah, that's right. See, Drake left this as a clue to pinpoint the exact burial site. For someone clever enough to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, nice try. But we're still going for that boat. Yeah, I'm afraid this is as close as we're getting to El Dorado. See any boat, Nate? Looks like we missed our chance. No, there it is. On the other side of the harbor. Come on. Hey, you know what? Why don't I just wait here and you can uh swing around and come back and pick me up? <laughs> okay. What are you up to? Nothing. I just wanna, you know, stay here and get some more footage. I'll be safe. All right, fine. But promise me you'll stay put. Whatever that means. Get this all on the boat now. Hey! Come on, let's go, let's go! How did you get here? You really need to see this. Now is really not the best time. No, Nate! What are you doing? You really need to watch this. It's just... What? Don't forget to stop on the dock. And... Hello. He's alive. Huh. Hurry up. I don't know, Nate. I mean... How much do you trust this guy? It's not exactly like they're holding them at gunpoint. I, I know. We got to get the hell out of here. Yeah, it seems weird. No. Sully's a lot of things, but he's not a backstabber. Which way were they headed? Uh, northish. Yeah, towards the mountains. Okay, it's got to be the monastery. Let's go. Uh, what if it turns out he's working with them? We either rescue him, or we beat the crap out of him. Hell, I might just beat the crap out of him anyway. How does something like this happen? See those scorch marks? Uh-huh. Somebody packed this place with enough gunpowder to blow it wide open. Ooh. Watch where you step. Some of these boards are really falling. <laughs> So, what? The Spanish booby trapped the island to protect their gold? This wasn't made by the Spanish. Take a closer look at the spikes. You have got to be kidding me. This is from our plane. Well, wait, that doesn't make any sense, though. Why would someone set traps like this when their own men are crawling all over the island? They wouldn't. Something's been here since a trap was sprung. Something or someone? Do you think Shh. that... Do you hear that? Hear what? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We're being watched. Watched? Yeah, you, you know what? It's probably nothing. Um... Let's just get out of here before we run into whatever's been chewing on this guy. in this little bar in the Philippines. Oh, man. She had a smile that'd melt your heart. Bro, I swear to God, she'd just as soon kill you as kiss you if she caught you stepping out.
Just a wee bit of a thing. She couldn't have been much more than 4'11". They called her the spinner because she... Will you shut up, old man? You told us that one a dozen times already. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> of course I did. Memory's not what it used to be. What the hell's taking you so long anyway? Well, maybe you hadn't noticed, but most of these books are half rotten. And written in Spanish. Yeah, well, hurry it up. The boss is waiting on you. Hey! Up there! Ah, oh, crap. Look out! Where did these guys come from? Hey! I almost had it! Ah, this better be worth it! Time you showed up. <sighs> well, you're looking awfully good for a corpse. So you brought the girl after all, huh? The girl? Hey, if it wasn't for her, you wouldn't be getting rescued right now. If this is a rescue. What the hell does that mean? You gotta admit, Sully, this all looks a little shady. Yeah. I mean, you tipping those guys off. And miraculously showing up alive? Now, wait a goddamn minute. Roman had a contract out on me. I needed to buy some time. All right, stupid mistake. I didn't realize they'd try and track us. Sully, we would have been headed home with the treasure by now if you had just for once kept your mouth shut. And you might have thought of checking for a pulse before running off and leaving me for dead. Look, none of that matters now. All right, so how is it you're standing here breathing and all, huh? <laughs> you are not going to believe this. No way! <laughs> Old Francis took a bullet for you. Yeah. I thought this kind of thing only happened in the movies. Yeah, well, it still hurt like a son of a bitch, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I bet. Anyway, once they realized I wasn't dead, I convinced Roman that they would never find the treasure without me. So I've been trying to mislead him ever since, waiting for you to show up. Well, where are they now? Well, they're chasing a little red herring I sent him on on the other side of the monastery to get rid of him. <laughs> Look. Drake had it all figured out. See, that's the symbol the Spanish used to mark their secret vaults. The treasure is hidden right here in this monastery. Find the symbol, and we, we find, find the vault. vault. We have everything we need right here. All the clues to take us right to the treasure. We can do this, kid. <laughs> all right, you boys aren't gonna get all chummy and leave the girl behind again, are you? <laughs> Don't even think about it, Sully. She's got a mean right hook. I'll keep that in mind. Well, this looks promising. Here, let me see that? Yeah. Okay. You two sit tight. I'm gonna check things out. Whoa, 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 wait, no. You're not going out there alone. Yeah, Roman's men are swarming all over this place. Yeah, and one person will make a lot less noise than three. Come on, I'll be fine. And you guys will be safe here. They don't even know about this room. Okay, take this with you. Leave it on channel 13. They don't use that one. And keep us posted. All right, you got it. Close this thing back up. Yeah. Nate? Be careful. <laughs> Come on. I always am. Ah! I did not see that! Ah! This is completely unacceptable. What do you expect from me, Roman? My men are getting massacred! 
I find it hard to believe that one man could wipe out your entire crew. Ugh, it's not just Drake, goddammit! I'm telling you, this island is cursed! Enough. Take your sorry mob and go. Wait, you can't cut me loose. You owe me a share of the gold! Your share, Eddie, was contingent upon you doing what I required. You assured me that Drake was captured and the island secure. Oh, this is bullshit, Roman, and you know it! We are done here, Mr. Roger. Dai Camel! My dear Jello! Jillen! Remind me again why you employed that superstitious idiot? You wanted someone cheap. <laughs> well, you get what you pay for, I suppose. And what about you, Navarro? Are you worth what I'm paying you? The vault's here. I'm sure of it. If Sullivan can be trusted. Which he can't. Look, he knows we'll kill him if he's lying. Don't be stupid, he knows we'll kill him once we find the treasure. He has no incentive to tell the truth. Really, Navarro, sometimes I think you left your brains back in that slum where I found you. I just need a little more time. Chasing this treasure of yours is proving to be more trouble than it's probably worth. I assure you, El Dorado is worth more than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> it had better be. Gotta be kidding. Hey, Sully. I'm here. Remember Roman and Navarro? That red herring you sent them on to get them out of the way? Yeah? Well, they're sitting right on top of the treasure vault. Oh, of all the goddamn luck. Look, I'm gonna need a diversion to get them out of there. You got it, kid. One diversion. Coming right up. And Sully. Yeah? Once they're gone, meet me in the mausoleum. But come through the catacombs. It's safer that way. Gotcha. Now I've just got to get past all these goons without getting noticed. <laughs> Looks like we're in business. Ooh. Yeah. Heads up. <sighs> what do you make of it? I don't know. Could be a dead end. Wait. It looks like there might be a passage this way. <sighs> Uh oh. Oh shit. What the hell's that? Sully, get out of there. Huh? It's a trap! Oh. Sullivan, are you okay? Sully! Yeah, yeah, fine. Still in one piece. Oh. You knocked me on my ass, though. Yeah, well, you better get back to the library. We're gonna have to find another way out of here. There's nothing here. This is getting so old. Nate? It's Drake. He never found it. He just died here. So much for greatness. Wasted his life for nothing. Nate, are you ready to get moving? Yeah. More than ever. Hey, come on. You're heavier than you look. Can you reach it? Mm -hmm. Looks like an old hoist or something. There's a rope. I'll try to lower it down to you. Oh, I see a tunnel. We can get out this way. 
Hello, boys. <laughs> easy, Eddie, easy. What the hell's going on out there? Didn't you see them? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. We're trapped. Jesus, what is that? We're dead. We're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> Get back here! Oh, crap. Jake, if we don't make it out of here, I just want you to know, I hate your guts. Yeah, likewise, pal. Now let's do this. Oh, no. think they can get through this. Nate. What? Where are we? I'm not sure. <gasps> Go! <sighs> wow. This explains the U-boat in the Amazon. Nate, come here. Look at this. So they found it. They must have broken into the vault and cleared it out. Yeah, but what's the monastery got to do with it? I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Huh. If that's where the statue is now... Oh man, we, we were right on top of it! I bet this will take us to the surface. Guess the Nazis didn't pay their electric bill. Oh, damn it! You know, I bet if we can make it to the generator room, we could get the power turned back on. We just gotta find a way out of here first. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? No! 
Found a way out. Nice work. Yeah. All right, let's go. Nope. This one's all you, cowboy. What do you mean? Nate, you know I can't make that jump. There's no way I'm leaving you here alone with those we things. We don't have a choice. Just go turn the power on, come back and get me, and then we'll get the hell out of here, okay? Just go. I will be right back. Yeah. a terrible curse. The Spaniards have unleashed hell, become as demons. My men have all been murdered, leaving the task to me alone. No ship will depart this island. I destroyed them all and drowned the cursed city. A thing of such great evil must never leave these shores. In my final hour, I commend my soul to God. May he have mercy on this unholy place. Francis Drake. Maintain control over a small girl. It won't happen again. <coughs> Trust me. I'm sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to uh, thank you for leading us to El Dorado. Of course. Oh, I hope you don't mind if we borrow Miss Fisher a little while longer, mm. just to discourage you and your partner from trying anything creative. So long, Nate. It's been fun. Yeah. Keep smiling, asshole. I'll see you soon. <sighs> Sully, are you there? Damn it. Sully, come in. Oh, thank God, Nate. Where are you? Heading your way. They've got Elena. We have to stop them. Yeah, got problems of my own. Bastards have me pinned down outside the church. Almost there.
Watch it. They don't know what they're dealing with. What are you... I don't know how, but that statue destroyed the whole colony, and it killed the Germans, too. Whoa, whoa, come again? There's no time. We've got to get to the church. should realize by now that I plan for every contingency. Now drop your weapons. Down there. No heroics, please. Or I will kill her. Good. Now, if you'll just hang tight, we'll be with you in a moment. It's magnificent. Craftsmanship. I've never seen anything like it before. That is only a shell. The real treasure of El Dorado lies inside. <laughs> Open it! Little imagination. Navarro! 
That thing wiped out an entire colony. You don't know what you're doing. Wrong. I'm the only person on this island who knows what the hell he's doing. Gotta get lost that one. Cuidado! You are so pathetic. All of you, scrambling around for your petty treasures. Do you have any idea what this is worth? To the right buyer? Levantalo! Oh no, what the hell is that? Oh, God. Run! Uh, uh. Jesus, what are those things? It's the Spaniards, Sully. They never left. My God. If that thing gets off the island... You gotta stop him. I'll cover you from here.
You all right? Uh, oh, Nate! Adios, asshole. Save the world, triumph over evil. Pretty <laughs> typical. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a shame we're leaving empty-handed, though. Oh, well, you know, I, I did manage to save one small thing. Here, I, I thought you might miss this. Thanks. Yeah. You two got a funny idea of romantic. Sully! Wow, you... you look like hell. You should see the other guys. <laughs> Got us a boat. Uh, we already have a boat. Yeah, big boat. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one better. <gasps> Sully, you beautiful son of a bitch! Borrowed it off a couple of pirates who were too dead to care. <laughs> Sorry you didn't get your story. Well, uh, that's all right. There'll be other stories. You still owe me one. I'm good for it. <laughs>